Butler is one of the most exciting boxers in South Africa at the moment. He has a good professional record with only two losses in 33 fights. The 29-year-old once held the WBA and IBO minimum weight titles, but he lost both in March last year when he lost to Byron Rogers via a unanimous decision. Butler will go into his next bout with a lot of confidence after winning his last two fights staged in South Africa. It's probably my, my hardest fight in my career so far. Um, he's a good fighter, he hits hard. Just came with a first round knockout for the title. Um, but I'm going to be ready. I've, I've been training hard, we've got a few game plans worked out, and I'm going to be ready for this fight. Away from home, Butler will have to be at his best to overcome the reigning champion. He has competed in 15 world title fights, winning an impressive 13 of them. And never easy going abroad and finding the champion in his hometown, in his own backyard. But we're going to be up for this fight. We're going to be up, we're going to be ready, and a lot of people have already written us off, so be it. I am not listening to that. I'm going there, not for a holiday, but to pick up another championship belt and have it put around Hickey's waist. A win for Butler in September will elevate him to a different class in world boxing. If he'd been in a higher weight division, he would have been one of the most celebrated fighters the country's ever had. And I'm hoping it will cement his legacy in South African boxing. He's been the WBA champion, he's been the WBO champion, he's been in different weight classes, he's going to go in there in the Philippines, he's going to do South Africa proud, whatever the outcome of the fight. But it will not be a walk in the park for the South African against a man with an equally impressive record. Milan Melindo of the Philippines has only suffered two losses in 36 fights. Sfeso Ramara, SABC News, Johannesburg.